I'm going to use the data I had in my last lecture to show you how to construct a confidence interval after doing a dependent samples t-test. So remember that we use the dependent samples t-test to test if two sample means are different from one another. After doing the t-test, if we reject the null hypothesis, we can construct confidence intervals to estimate how large that mean difference is. If it's just a small difference or if the two means are very different from one another, we can estimate that difference to see how large it is. So here's my question, and I'm using the data that I had from the example I had in my last lecture. We had a mean difference of 1.7, a mean standard deviation, or sorry, a different standard deviation of 1.49, a sample size of 10, and our t was 3.61. So using this information that you would already have after doing any dependent samples t-test, I'm saying construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference of these two means. So remember that a confidence interval is just a point estimate plus or minus a margin of error. So we're going to have our point estimate and then plus or minus a margin of error. So we'll have a lower bound and an upper bound and we'll be 95% confidence that the difference is within those two points. So these are the equations for the lower bound and the upper bound. And as you can see, we already know the mean difference, the different standard deviation, and the sample size. So I can just put those things into the equation. All we need to do is find out what our t would be in this case. So we're constructing a 95% 95% confidence interval. That means our alpha is 0.05. That's the portion left over. So when we look up our t, we're going to use an alpha of 0.05. And we're also going to need degrees of freedom. In this case, degrees of freedom for a dependent samples t-test is just n minus 1, or 10 minus 1, so it's 9. So now that we have our alpha level and our degrees of freedom, we can figure out what our t value is. So I'm going to look at this t table and I'm going to go to alpha 0.05, degrees of freedom 9. And that tells me that our t value, that our critical value is 2.2622. So I can put that into the equation now. And now I could easily solve for lower bound and upper bound, which I do. The lower bound is 0.634 and the upper bound is 2.76. What this means is that we are 95% confidence that the mean difference between before and after is somewhere between 0.64 and 